So I was uh, playing around with my drone earlier. I was, uh, hang on, let me just lift up my uh, st stand a bit because it's a bit lower down. I was, uh, attempted to fly indoors and the drone started to rotate and uh, I went and crashed into the monitor and I thought well that's strange because it was indoors and there was no wind or anything blowing and uh, I thought well why is it doing that why was it uh, uh, why was it uh, turning like this? I thought there must be an imbalance somewhere. So anyway, I I had some spare blades. I got a load of spare blades. So I swapped out this blade. And because I got some new ones. Because previously I'd nicked one of the corners. And it was a little bit out of balance. But nothing serious. Anyway, I put the new blade on. And I just thought I'd spin it. See how it went. And I noticed something. On the rear, on the rear, on the rear propellers, it keeps getting stuck. And I realised there's a, the motor's either bad or the cogs, the gears are bad. I thought, well, that's strange. I wonder if they're all like that. And I tried the front one and that's fine. And this one, the front one. That's fine. I went to try the other back one, and that keeps getting stuck. Oh, it's about halfway around, it gets stuck, right? And I was thinking, I wonder if that's why I got it so cheap. Because when I got this off at eBay, it was discounted, and maybe it's got some bad gears in it. And this one so it's both the back ones that's doing the same thing but well that, that's odd i can't have done it i can't have broken it well luckily a few um a few months back i ordered some spares i got some spare gears right i got a whole set of props so i've got four gears four new gears a complete set of bearings I also got spare motors. So what I'm thinking is <clears throat> maybe I should tear it down and, and take and find out what the problem is and replace the either the gears that are obviously something wrong with them, either replace the gears or the motors. Now I haven't even taken the motors out, but there's each motor on these uh, quadcopters on these drones is different, right? Uh Actually, I'm a bit zoomed. Let me just back it out a bit because you can't get me in properly. Right, so uh, I haven't even opened these, to be honest. Let's see. I think I had a look previously. We sealed it back up. But I haven't really opened them as in tested them. Now, there's four complete sets. Oh, still not getting it on the camera. Sorry about this, I'm just out of practice. So I've got four sets of motors, right? And they've got little plugs on them. They're all colour coded, right? Because these motors are all different because one motor rotates clockwise, one motor rotates anti-clockwise. That's the way the drones work. So there's something happens on, on a few, I've seen a few eBay videos where people don't know what they're doing. And they often put the, not everyone, but a few people have put the props on backwards, right? If you put the props on the wrong, <laughs> on the wrong motor, because they're all tilted different, right? Some are tilted to the left, some are tilted to the right. Um, if you put them on backwards, it will fly, it will try to fly upside down, which it can't. Obviously, it just flips over and turns on its back. Now, so I've noticed that's happened to a few people, but that's because they've done it wrong, right? You've got to follow the colour coding because all these motors have different colour coding. There's blue, red, blue, red. There's two blue reds because there's two motors that rotate clockwise. And then these two motors 
uh, white and black probably run anti-clockwise, right? Now, on each of these motors, they've got these little cogs, right? They've got these little cogs, right? And the cogs run on the gears, right? Run against these little gears, right? So, um, I assume the motors are mounted horizontally and they rotate the gears like that. That's what I assume. I haven't taken one apart yet, so, but it looks like I'm going to have to do, um, it looks like I'm going to have to, I don't think it's the motor that's the problem. I think it's the gears. So anyway, I'm just going to wrap these all up again because just keep them all together because I'm going to have to disassemble my drone. Oh, I'm doing it backwards. Hang on. The tips on the other side. Just a minute. So. Right, if I just back out a bit. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to fix this. Because I can't use it like that if it's out of balance. If the gears are slipping. Um, I mean, for example, if I decide to take this up to 200 feet, right? And all of a sudden the gear fails. That's not going to be good because it's going to, it's going to crash. And it could smash my whole drone assembly up so what I'm going to have to do is uh, let's see I'm going to have to let's see about this huh? I've never taken it apart but I've seen somebody else on the internet take theirs apart but take the battery out so I'm going to have to get into here hang on a minute the battery somewhere stick it oh, I don't know stick it there and I'll pull these up one minute and... actually I can't really I want these legs these are the ones that have got a problem because as I say it doesn't turn easily it's supposed to turn the right the back right one turns clockwise I've tested it I've just powered it up again and it runs but you can hear that it's slipping the gears are slipping that's why it was when I was flying it earlier doing the test, it started to turn left. I think the reason it was doing that is because one of these gears is slipping, right? So one of these gears keeps catching, keeps getting jammed up. And that's no good. And it feels really rough. And that one's all sort of rough. Now, anyway, so I'm going to pause for a bit because I want to figure out the best way to get into this because um, okay some screws up there um, some screws there so oh, it looks like the back end comes off I'm probably able to take the Wi-Fi up module out and get to this because you can't. There's some screws in these arms, right? Well, you can't just. Um, actually, I wonder if I can just undo these screws here. I wonder if that part will pop out. Separately. I think I've got the wrong size screwdriver here. Yeah, I'm going to pause a bit because I need to find my other screwdriver set because these are... Oh, it's got glue in it. No wonder it won't fit. I'll just pause a bit while I go and find my other screwdriver set. Okay, so... Right. <sighs> My eyes still are right. I'm, I'm having a lot of trouble in my eyes, and I have to keep squirting this stuff in my eye because I can't see properly. That's 
that's my colloidal silver by the way right chip my nail now okay so it looks like I'm gonna have to That's the wrong size for that one. Ah, they're all different sizes. That's an ordinary one. I can't tell what these are. These I can't even see properly. Is it torques that one? That looks like a torx. Mini talks. I have no idea what that is. Can't see. Um, what's this one? Oops. That's a long one. Mm. Uh. That doesn't fit. Oh, dear me. Let me just try my ordinary one. Yeah, that one fits right okay so i'll just uh let me just put these over here ah, dear me so i really could do with a bigger table So it looks like I'm going to have to, I need a magnet because I don't want to lose my screws, so um, I use this metal and I stick a magnet on it. Uh oh, I've got my ID thing I've got to take off. Um, my flyer ID. Oh, dear me. I don't want to be doing stuff like this, but uh, I'm trying to get my ass to work. Okay, so that's loose. So that uh, that's the camera module. I think that comes out. Ah, that's it. Okay, the camera module. I can put that. Right, okay, camera modules unplugged. Right. It's got its own little um, built in antenna as a camera module. So that's the camera module antenna. Right. All I want to do is get to. See if I undo all the screws to undo. I have to undo. 
Ah, I get it. These two, these arms should pop out. Right, so. I need a big one. See if I can use the. I'll just take this bit out and find the. I want to use the smaller screwdriver because that thing's massive. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Um. That's a bit loose. Oh, that's the one. I haven't had this five minutes. I haven't even had a proper flight with it. I'm just wondering if that... Um... If this was... Faulty right from day one. Um, these rubber feet, I don't know if there's a screw in there underneath. I shouldn't think there would be because. No, that looks to be all one piece. Oh, this bit comes off. Ah, right. So, this body... This body part here, there's a, a seam that runs all the way from here, um, all the way down, down across here. And... I can't see oh yeah so this top bottom section should pop off unless it's a top um oh did i cover a screw up hang on i stop this QR code on here. No, there's no screw under there. Um, uh, oh, does the top come off? Maybe the top pops off. Ah, I think it does. I think this top cover pops off. I wonder. Don't seem to be any screws. Can I get my fingernail in there? Oh, I don't like using knives, but I don't know. Let me get my fingernail underneath. Ah. Something's popped off. Yeah, part of it's coming off. Right, if I can just get my fingernail under here. I'm not sure how these come apart, you see. I'm just trying to... Be careful, I don't want to break it. Right. Oh, I don't know. Off 
Bring it along the knees. Can't get it. I'm just praying to break it. <laughs> I'm trying to be you. I tell you what, I'm going to pause you a while while I fiddle around with this, okay? Right, so I stuck my fingernail in this corner here. And I was able to pop it out. So I should be able to do the same on this side. I need to pop my fingernail underneath here. There we go, some little plastic lugs that left over. So I'm using my, I'm all using is my fingernail because I don't want to break this drone. I'd rather break my fingernail because they grow back. <laughs> right, if I can get my fingernail under this, let's just move that forward a bit. So you see this edge here? Get my fingernail underneath there. There we go, it's popped off now. Look. They're a bit fiddly, so the back must be the same. Luckily, I've got quite strong fingernails because I take calcium tablets, supplements. I have a, otherwise I have a calcium deficiency. I'll move that forward so I can get under fingernail underneath. I assume it's the same at the back. I want to get the lid off because I don't want to damage it because. Using a screwdriver on this, it's very thin plastic, you see. It looks extremely thin, very thin. It would be so easy to break it. So, let's see, is there a screw? Um, ah, maybe there's something in here. Maybe I need to... Like a tab or something. No, there's no tab. I'm just gonna lift it, twist it slightly sideways to get it off. See, stick my finger out. Come on. I'm pretty sure it's it's in the tab like earlier. Oh, do I squeeze? If I squeeze it, because it's got the grease there, so if I squeeze that, maybe that will. <coughs> I'll just pause a bit while I fiddle with it. Okay, so what I've done is I lifted the front up a bit, stuck my fingernail under there, and it seems to be coming out. Yeah, there was a little, there's a little recess where there was a lug. So it's the same on this side. So lift the front up a bit. Stick my fingernail and... See if I can get it. Squeeze a bit. Oh. Come on, you did you you worked on the other side, so come on. Oh, I use this ah here's my other one. Come on, you gotta come off now. Ah, yeah, come in. There we go. Right. Oh, there's a module tip to the top. I assume that's the GPS. Because the GPS has to be on top. 
to receive a satellite signal. So that's oh cool. I've got to the oh there's not a lot in here. Oh that must be the main circuit. There's really there's hardly anything to this. So that's for access to the screws for the front motors, but they're okay. So how the hell do I get the um I didn't break anything, did I? No. Just using my fingernails. So anyway, it looks like this should slide out. I took the screws off this. Off these arms. But they won't come out. Oh, there's some more screws here. Hang on a minute. Right, so... Yeah, there's some screws down there. Okay. Use another magnet because I want to keep my screws separate in sets. So I'm putting the screws for it on here. It's important to use the right screws when you put it back together. But I think it's to, it's all to do with the balance, I suppose. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to use the wrong screws in the wrong places, obviously. Um. So that should make this case come apart. I think. Ah, yes. Yes, it's coming apart. There's a gap. I oh, should better get these arms out. You know, I never needed to take this cover off, this top one. Maybe I need to get to the wires though, I don't know. I'm just going to pop this back on because it's flopping about now and I don't, I shouldn't have needed to take that off because there's not, there's only thing I can access there is the front and I don't really want to get into that. Oh look, there's some, hang on, what size up? Oh, those are the LEDs. Check them while I'm at it. Oh, there's a that's the antenna at the front. So that's the antenna. There's a big coil of um, I'm sure if I can show you. Right at the front, there's this big black long thing, right? That is the antenna. It's not a very good place, it's right at the front. I can tell it's an antenna because it's got the same kind of wire as the other antenna for the camera. Uh. So that must be the... <clears throat> it's stuck in place, I'll leave it. So I'll stick this back on because... All that fighting about just to get that off and now I'm sticking it back on but... Well, I'm not going to try too hard to put it back on. I just want to stop it flopping about while I'm doing this. Right. I just put the front on so it didn't flop about. Oops, I haven't put it on very well. Right, so I just put the front on. Right, I need to get this down thing out. These arms. How the hell did it come out? Oh shit. Looks like this whole body does separate. Does this part come out? Oh, is there a screw under here? Oh. 
No, I thought there might be a screw under this sticker, but I don't think there is. There's a circuit board directly below it, and I can see there's no screw sticking through. So that's not... Anyway, I'm going to pause so I'll have a, we'll have a, a fight about, well, I'll figure this out a bit. Well, I've come to the conclusion that I have to undo these screws to separate this top canopy part. Um, this top piece won't come off with the screws there because it's all one piece. So, hey, let me fiddle about with this and undo these and then it should come off. Ah, uh, do. Guess what? When you take this cover off, there's four screws. One, two, three, four. <laughs> you got to take them out. <laughs> now it comes apart. <laughs> oh, I've been fighting about for ages trying to find the clips, right? And there's no clips on the middle part of the body. <laughs> it's screws. Anyway, I'll loosen the screws. I haven't taken them out yet. Just to see if it was separate. And yes, it is. Look, it's... Uh, there's a seam separate in there. So <clears throat> I thought I'll loosen them first just to find out. And that was it. Oh. Where's the. Um... Oh! <laughs> it stuck to the motor. <laughs> right. So I have to get another magnet because I want to keep my screws all separate. Right. Right, so I'm going to take these four screws out and then we'll get to the next bit. Actually, I might as well film it. I'm just trying to be very careful. So it's, uh, I haven't taken a drone apart before. quadcopter whatever and um, it is very delicate I was trying to you stick my fingernail in between the body and I, I bent part of the plastic and it's so friggin thin seems to be made out of the same stuff as the propellers uh, right I've got all four screws out because my eyes are really bad right now, it's, I suppose I better take the, these out the rest of the way. I won't need a magnet for them, they're big. I know where they go. I'm just using the magnet for the small stuff because it's so easy to lose it. But these big ones, you can't mistake them, they've got big washers but, um, stuck on them. So, you can't mistake that they go on there. So, right, so now that I've got them out, <clears throat> the body should lift off. Um, and this front part might pop out. Uh, I use my plastic tool to just gently... I try not to bend. I should have taken my props off, really, but it's all right. I'm going slow. I'm uh, taking it really easy. All I want to get to is this back part, really. If I can just get this back part out. So... Oh, more screws. I never saw that. Right, 
Right, so there's two more screws right at the front. I'm going to need to remember, because my memory's not good. So I'll put them in the middle magnet, because that was the, for that, that part of the case. So, um... Actually, maybe I should have put them up the back. Yeah, because it's a different length. I think. Yeah. No wonder I couldn't get this thing apart. I nearly broke the damn thing because I was trying to prise it apart and there were screws. That'll be another screw, surely. Are these um, spring clips, these black, black things? It looks like... <sighs> these black things could pop out in my face. Because it looks like some kind of ratchet. That must be why what holds the wing, the props out. Um, I have a feeling that these black things are going to pop out. These actually, yeah, they look like little ratchets. So I'm going to have to prise them out. Um, where do we get them out? without damaging it looks like they're under tension so these little black rings are little ratchets because they've got a cut out for them to have a spring action so it's gonna fly out when I prise it up so if I use my little blunt knife I'll put my screwdriver in the middle uh, maybe I can just pop them off Because the screws is out. I don't know. That's what's holding the front together right now. It's these. Um, I have a feeling the back is going to be the same. But I can't see them yet at the back. Just the ones at the front. I've taken the big screws off, so they should pop out. I don't want to damage it, so that knife is probably the worst thing to use. What else can I use that's not going to damage it? Um, I'll try using my nail file because it's it's blunt. Uh, <clears throat> the only other thing I can do is just put my fingernail under there, push it, and see if it comes out that way. Nope. This is my plastic tool. Can't be any more screws, surely. Oh, don't call me Shirley. <laughs> um, right, okay. I can't see any more. There is some screws on this bottom part. But that's not attached to this. That's obviously holding the motor in. Because the motor is horizontal. These little screws in the bottom have nothing to do with the case. 
<clears throat> I'll pause while I do this a bit. Okay, so it was, it's was it been a struggle, but I managed to get one of the black things out. And the way I did it was I stuck my thumbnail in between the seam at the, on the inside and I also stuck my fingernails between there and just pulled until it, and this little black thing just popped out. So in theory, should we have to do it on this side? So if I get my fingernail in the, in the seam on the inside there, if I can get my fingernail in it because it's a bit tight, well, let's just get it open a bit with my at the front. So I'll stick my fingernail in the front and just start pulling. I know I can get my fingernail in the inside and now this is tricky but I should be able to pop that other one off because the black one popped out um, where's the seam on the inside I can't get my fingernail in very easily so I'm pushing against the body this middle battery compartment Right, it's coming. Now I can move around this side a bit. Oh, there we go. So I've got the other black one off. Now the LED cover, LED assembly has popped loose. Why is it? <clears throat> Hang on. Right, okay, it's stuck to some double sided tape. The LEDs are all coming out now. <clears throat> so the case is loose. Now I should better pop that black one out. This. There we go. So that one come out. So put them on the table. So I know this is all loose, the whole body's come out now. This is such a fine job. This is all just now. Look at that. Now I've got access to the rear ones. So I'll move this out of the way a minute. Let's just sort these LEDs out because I can't get my glasses to focus. Right, so the LEDs have popped out of there, so I'm going to pop that back in there. There's the antenna. No wonder I didn't get a very good signal on the antenna, but it's pointing at the LEDs, which is not good because you get. LED <clears throat> the RF wants to a clear signal path it doesn't want to be blocked by oh, that's the antenna I'm just gonna I'm just bending it back a bit so it's not gonna foul the LED Right, I want it behind that plastic lug so it doesn't block the signal. Right, okay, that's better. <sighs> right, so now I've got um, access to the rear. This looks, it looks a bit like a complete nightmare at the moment, but it's just while I move them arms forward a bit I'm going to knock all this stuff all over the place so I'm going to put my uh, clutches to the, for the front I'm going to put them on there otherwise I'm going to knock them on the floor right this 
this was such a bloody trick to get it apart but now i've done it you see i'll know how to do it next time and that's another reason why i'm recording it because as a reminder right so oh this flipping rash is driving me crazy um okay now i can get to the rear these should lift off yep yeah. now i can get to the rear motors so that's all i wanted to do because you can't take this apart while it's in the body because there's a screw there that was uh, that screw was um, covered by the body the upper body of the um, quadcopter now this one is sticking and I'm going to figure out what's going on with that so I just need to work on these rear motors let's just put that over there okay well, this video is getting extremely long so you know what I think I'm going to do because it took ages to upload I'm going to do this part this is part one and I'm going to, it's 46 minutes long now um, this is part one getting the drone disassembled to get access to the motors and I've got access now I can just lift that off it should just lift off the there we go turn it over so I've got access to these rear um, uh, motors and gear assembly the gear assembly is underneath here and we're going to do that in part two so I'll put um, I'll put um, a link on the screen um, at the top for you to click to watch part two, um, so you can see the rest of this, and and we can start to look into whether or not I need to replace the gears or the motors, and I've got. A spare set of motors from off eBay. I've got a complete set actually of motors and gears and bearings, and we'll see what needs replacing in part two. Thanks for watching.